Hello everyone and welcome back to another Fallout 76 tutorial. Today we're going to look at how to manage perk cards in Nuclear Winter. For those of you who are experienced with Nuclear Winter or just already understand how this works, congratulations, you can skip today's class if you want. For those who don't, hopefully this helps make the mode a bit easier to understand. If you already know how this works, this might seem like a pretty elementary thing, but there are a lot of people just trying Nuclear Winter for the first time, and a lot of people who just haven't been able to sort things like this out, because we have such a limited time to configure perks before a match. That limited time even made recording footage for this video frustrating, so I get it. Honestly, a menu we could go to to configure this stuff, look at our stats, see where we're at with rewards and rank, all that would be great, but that's probably another conversation. Today, let's get right into how to manage your perks and get the ones you want. Remember, if you like this video and want to see more Fallout 76 content, don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get into it. When you first load into the vault, you want to open your Pip-Boy and open your perks. The first thing to understand is that in Nuclear Winter, your special build carries over from Adventure Mode. You can see that with this character, I have very high intelligence, agility, and luck. Everything else is pretty limited. You can pick a total of seven perk cards. It doesn't matter what category they're in as long as you have enough special points to cover their cost. For example, I have Ground Pounder and Master Commando because they cost three points each, which matches my total of six in Perception. If I want to equip another Perception card, I'd have to remove one of those. Alternatively, for Agility where I have 15 points available, I have Frog Legs, Marathoner, and Action Girl equipped, which totals 11 points. So if I wanted to, I could equip another Agility card as long as it doesn't cost more than 4 points. And you can see the cost printed right on the card. Now, if I want to add a 4th Agility card, I can do that because I have 4 more points available in Agility. But I can only have 7 cards total, so to do that, I'd need to remove something else. I might remove Life Giver, for example, then go in and select another card. In this case, I don't actually want to remove that card, so we'll put it back, but you get the idea, I'm sure. So to cover that again, you get a total of seven perk cards. You can choose any seven you want, as long as you have enough special points to cover their cost, and assuming that you have the perk card available. Speaking of having the perk card available, You'll start Nuclear Winter with just a few default cards, but as you rank up and complete challenges, you'll be awarded with more in perk card packs, which contain just a single random card. If you don't have the card already, you'll keep it in your deck, ready to be swapped in as needed. If it's a duplicate, you'll see it burn up, be awarded with some Overseer XP, and be given Overseer tickets, which you can save up to buy the cards you want if you haven't been lucky enough to get them in a card pack. Some cards seem to be more rare than others, like Frog Legs, which lets you jump higher, or Bloody Mess, which gives you a flat damage boost to every weapon type. You'll need to save up a lot of Overseer tickets to get those, up to 10 tickets each, which can take a while, but at least there's a path to getting what you want. When you have enough Overseer tickets saved up and want to buy a card, you'll choose the option to show unowned cards that appears when you're scrolling through perks that you don't currently have equipped. Those unowned cards will appear as gray. You can select the one you want and click the appropriate button to buy it. On Xbox, that's the right stick. It will vary by platform. Once you've purchased the card, it'll show in color and you can equip it as long as you have enough special points in its category and an open perk slot. In this case, we can see that I don't have enough special points available in Agility to equip this card with the ones I already have. If I don't want to give up Frog Legs, I'll have to give up Marathoner and Action Girl if I want to equip my new card, because the new one has a special cost of 6 Agility points, Frog Legs has a cost of 9, and I have a total of 15. Taking those two cards off leaves me with an open slot which I can fill with whatever I want. This process can definitely be a bit confusing, and it becomes doubly frustrating because you're up against a clock when you're inside the vault. 
you can look at your perks when you're actually in a nuclear winter match. That's probably not good for your health, but if you need to take some time to assess your situation, it might not be a bad idea to load into a match, spawn someplace remote, and do just that. You can't make any changes during the match, but at least you can get an idea of what perks you have available, what you might want to save up tickets for, and any changes you might want to make before your next match. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to do it for today. I hope this helped someone out there. I know that even in this format, it's still a bit confusing, but sometimes just seeing it in front of us can clear things up. As always, if you enjoyed this video, found it helpful, or anything in between, be sure to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe so you don't miss any of the Fallout and Fallout 76 videos I upload every week. Till next time, I'm Fisty McRib.